Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I wanted to show you guys a duo or a combination of uh, pretty common pieces of vlogging gear that you might have lying around your house uh, that I find very useful for creating a setup that is not so traditional. I haven't seen so many people talking about it and therefore I thought I'd give a quick video just showing you guys how it works and I've got pretty good results from it. Um, especially doing things like vlogging, I found it very useful. So let me, without further ado, really let me show you guys what the, what, what the mysterious duo is. So basically two components put together. The first is a tripod. Now I'm talking about an actual full sized tripod that goes down to the floor. Um, so, you know, if you're doing like live streaming or you are recording in any other environment where an actual tripod is needed. So get thyself a tripod. So you might already have a tripod. So that's number one. Now the second thing, my friend asked me to, to do this wedding live stream and I was thinking, well, what's going to be a creative way that I can be at my live streaming table and get the camera tilting, but there's no one else, no one's going to be helping me. So this was like a really, really last minute request. Now there are professional solutions for uh, remote panning and tilting of cameras, but those are like thousands of dollars. They're really kind of broadcast quality gear. I was thinking, hang on, maybe I could just get my gimbal put it on my tripod and then use the Ronin app and like remotely control the camera. And that's exactly what I did. And it worked really, really well. So that's what I wanted to show you guys how to set up. Now I know it's kind of obvious, but nevertheless, I figured I would, uh, figured I would just kind of explain the steps required. Um, don't ask me what that was. That was my phone, Siri, Siri or something, Android Siri. Um, Okay, so firstly, this is just a, a smartphone gimbal, AliExpress one, thought it'd be easier to demo on this than the Ronin. Now, uh, cameras, uh, tripods typically come with a little plate at the top. I believe these things are called Arca plates. I'm sure you know if you own a tripod what I'm talking about, this little thing. And it has a D ring typically at the bottom just to make it easier to screw in to your quarter inch uh, appliances. Now, most, almost all gimbals I've seen have a quarter inch thread at the bottom, a quarter 20. So if you haven't investigated your, your gimbal, look at the bottom and you're probably gonna see this. Now, the typical things people put into these are monopods. So if you want to extend your gimbal and have a like kind of fake crane footage as they call it, so you can string together a couple of monopods and, and go like that. Now, another thing you can do is have accessories off to the side, like run a little uh, L bracket out to the side of your gimbal and you can put their lights and cameras. So that's another thing you can do. But a third thing you can do is put it on a tripod. Uh, and you, you could do both. You could run a, a quarter inch here or a extension bracket and tripod is here and then put some, put some accessories here. So a world of possibilities opens up and that's what I think is really cool about camera stuff. Everything is like intercompatible. So um, basically take your tripod head and just screw it in. Now I recommend uh, just getting your gimbal, getting your smartphone or your camera um, into your gimbal before you put it on the tripod so everything's already like stabilized. Uh, that's my recommendation, could be a terrible one. You can follow it at your own camera's risk. So I'm just gonna use a um, Android device here and I'm going to now power this guy on. Now the gimbal's powered on, it's holding up my camera and I've just got the camera app open now. Uh, it's sort of calibrated, it's actually as good as I can calibrate this particular phone on this particular gimbal without using counterweights. And then um, basically you just need to slot it in to the tripod. So where the tripod has this little clamping mechanism, just go and clip it in. I have to just little play around with it and then lock it. So that is basically the gimbal installed on the tripod now. So you can just kind of prop, you can see uh, that it's locked there and that's keeping it secure. Now, in terms of how I would use this thing, so what I did for the wedding I mentioned was I used the DJI Ronin SC in the tripod and that was amazing because I could go into the Ronin app and use all the features of the Ronin app remotely because the Bluetooth gets you a few meters at least. So I was able to remote, I was, I was able to use 
virtual joystick to manipulate the pan and tilt motors while the gimbal was on the tripod. Now, here's one quick tip or what I learned from this experience. I did another auto-tune when the gimbal was on the tripod. So I auto-tuned when it was set up in that environment and that got rid of any tiny vibrations that otherwise would have really messed up the footage. Um, this, so that's, that's really it. And then you can use as well, if you're using the Ronin, the virtual, virtual tracking feature. So, um, and you can pipe that into OBS Studio and use that in a stream or a broadcast. So stream or a recording, I should say. So really quite a lot you can do with this kind of a setup. So, you know, if I was using it like this, let's just say, I'm trying not to show the, uh, the couch because it needs, it really needs uh, organization. I've got all my stuff out there. Um, now you can use, when you have it set up like this, you can of course use the tripod manually. So I can do my panning and tilting. Uh, I need to unlock here just like I was uh, using a regular tripod, but you also can use the gimbal. So instead of doing that, if I want to get it a little bit more smooth, I can use the, the joystick on the gimbal across all the axes, up, down. So it gives you alternatives and naturally the kind of movement you're going to achieve electronically with the joystick is probably gonna end up looking quite a bit smoother than what you're gonna do with your hand. I believe, could be wrong about that, but that's what I found with a really basic, uh, with a basic uh, tripod and a basic camera. I can't, especially with my coffee hands, I can't replicate the smoothing, uh, the, the panning and tilting I get with that. Another use I found for this is, I'm just gonna move it close enough so you guys can see, try to get it in front of the camera I'm using to record this video. Um, also for vlogging, it's quite good. So this, um, Forget the fact for a second this tripod is off balance and needs a bit of calibration work, but uh, you can use it like this. And then again, instead of, if you're doing a vlog, you can just discreetly get one hand on the virtual joystick and do your panning and doing your tilting without that being ob as obvious as you getting under the tripod and manipulating the, the lever here. So I think that's a second good use for this kind of a setup is if you're doing some uh, vlogging work. Um, so those are two uses I found for it. I've actually found it really helpful. Obviously, you're gonna be draining the battery on the gimbal uh, because even when the gimbal is just sitting on the tripod, there's gonna be a little bit of motorage going on to keep it balanced. Uh, so just be aware of that. Um, one more appliance to charge. But besides that, I think it's really useful and um, I found it helpful for vlogging and for live streaming using the DJI Ronin SC and the Ronin app, uh, I thought it was pretty cool to be able to remotely control uh, the pan and tilt on the camera and even automatically track faces all while I didn't actually touch the camera or the tripod the camera was on. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to get more video content from me, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.